Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Family Crossing. The girls are in school. Honey Hug is working on projects of his own, so you're stuck with me today and Tutu. <laughs> I had recently got this little frame set up, but I didn't like it for some reason. But I'm retrying it today to see if it, you know, sets up, shows up, and everything on our little, uh, stream for today. <laughs> we are on day seven of setting up our island. It is still my vacation. I have to go back to work shortly. Sad faces. <laughs> this has been a lot of fun, though, having the island restart and doing it on my vacation has given me lots of time to just kind of play Animal Crossing and relax and go at my own pace and record it a little bit at a time. Of course, if you've been following along, you know that we're playing in intermediate mode, which is pretty much hardcore mode, except we are allowed to time travel because yet again, I'm on vacation and I'm trying to record as many videos as I possibly can and get it done before I go back to work. So I can record other content while I'm working and give you more stuff that I can put out there. <laughs> I hope you enjoy what we've been doing so far and I hope you'll like it and subscribe and come back for future videos. But without further ado, let's see what Tom Nook has to say today. I love Quinn's house so much. It's so beautiful. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 10.03 a.m. this happy Wednesday. <laughs> There's only a single announcement today, but it's a big one, yes, yes. It's so wonderful to see all the enthusiasm for island life. Our population is certainly growing. Gambit is becoming a rather bustling place, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you all with the top quality support you deserve. And so please note, Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent into a new, more permanent building. Woo! It's a big move and construction will take some time, so we will be closed tomorrow. Awesome. Please check on lost items at the recycle box or use the Nook Stop Nook Stop today while it's available. Yes, of course. Keep your eyes open while running on our sandy beaches. If you see some water squirt up, try digging there with your shovel. Yes, yes, you just might find a clam. Great advice. I have been working on my custom design skills again, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> I think I labeled it pink punk <laughs> because, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of something I wore as a teenager, you know, since I'm kind of looking a lot like myself right now, <laughs> or little me anyway, before I was allowed to dye my hair. I'm certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it's as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. Trying to get us to share our dream address because we went and visited some other dream addresses. <laughs> On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, I'd like to thank you for your wise and if I may add, final purchase of a sinking painting. Oh, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Even if they don't want it at the museum, we want it. <laughs> Did I have fossils and things for the museum? Let's go put our stuff in storage. And we're going to see if there's anything we need to donate to the museum. And of course, we're going to need to go talk to Tom Nook 
and see if there's anything he wants us to do today. And I think Isabel will be showing up tomorrow. We want to keep our axe. I almost put that away. It looks like I've got medicine that I pre-made earlier. I went around and picked up all the stuff we knocked down last time. And so... I'm a little bit broke because I haven't sold anything to the nooks yet. I have a lot of cherries. Let's go ahead and get that out. We're going to move all of our cherries to our pocket. I don't want to sell those apples yet. I, I think I want to plant some more apple trees, maybe. Uh, the seashells as well. We're going to go ahead and sell a lot of those. Maybe not the giant clams, because I think I had some DIYs. Let me look before we sell these things. Is there anything we can craft? No. So, we're going to go ahead and sell those items. And... I want to keep all of those. Because I know I have some things to craft with all of this. And we are in desperate need of collecting more iron and clay. We have quite a bit of stone. Quite a bit of wood. Because we have lots of trees on our island right now. Um, let's go plant some more coconut trees. Definitely. Um, this was unable to be donated to the museum because we already had one, I believe. I don't think we have any. No, we already donated all of our fossils. So let's take the painting in and make sure and then we'll go sell everything else. And then we'll go talk to Tom Nook. Alright. If you're new, I'm Ragdoll Riversong. This is Family Crossing. We're on Gambit, and this is day seven. Working very hard to upgrade our island. Working in intermediate mode. <laughs> Not taking any gifts from anyone. We have to buy our own stuff and sell our own stuff, you know. <laughs> Everything is all on us. <laughs> How may I be of service? I would like to make a donation. Oh. We need to assess the work of art, maybe? No? Tell me about this. No? I guess not. We'll go ahead and go sell everything in our pockets then. And we'll check out what we need to get from the nook shop. Or nook stop, rather. <laughs> um, from the nook shop to the nook stop. <laughs> Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Well, hello to you both. I need to sell. Well, I have lots of things I would like to get rid of. We 
we've been collecting things off the beach. I think I'm going to hold on to the giant clams just because I know that they are a little harder to come across than the other things we're selling right now. Because <laughs> I only have seven compared to like stacks of ten of all the others. What's this one too? Let's go ahead and put those back in our storage as well. Not that I really, really need them, just I'm going to go ahead and save them because there's less of them than anything else, you know? That sounds great. Thank you. Well, I definitely will. Let's see what we got miles for. Earn bells by selling items. Yay. Pick of the bunch. You got Nook Miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. We can't do that. We're playing in intermediate mode. <laughs> so there may be Nook Miles we don't get from playing this way, maybe? I'm not sure. Go ahead. Be, be shellfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not easy to say. And remember, you get a different amount of bells for different types of shells, so pay attention. Interesting. Alright. Let's go ahead and look around and see if there's anything we just can't live without. We're not allowed to buy tools, and we've already crafted up a bunch, so we don't really need them anyway. Although, a blue polka-dotted umbrella would go great with my outfit. Um, I think we'll just collect flowers off of other, like, islands when we go visit them and things like that. Oh, light blue wrapping paper. Oh, I wanted a bunch. At least six. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this to wrap up any items people might leave. And they'll be the prizes for the games we play on the island when we get the games set up. Ladder setup kit DIY. I think I want that. That would be great. I'll buy it. Because that's going to be a great addition to some of our games. We'll have hidden little ladders around and about for like hide and seek that you can climb up. And that'll be a great addition. I don't think I need any of the other stuff. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate you. So with all of that done, let's go on in here, see how much we owe on our house, because, you know, when you're first starting out, that's a drastic amount to owe. I'm also going to see if there's anything to collect. We're going to take it. We might be able to craft something. I'm not sure yet. Because we can sell all of that stuff at the very least to get us some more money. Um, let's see what we can purchase with our Nook Miles because we have about 3,000 now. I think it's about time to buy the hair color one because I've been responsible and I upgraded my pockets and all of the other stuff first, but I'm getting really tired of the blonde hair. <laughs> my hair hasn't been blonde since I was 15.
All right. I think that's everything we're going to need out of there. I only typically buy the Nook Mile items from that and then buy things from the Nook Shop. Good morning to you, Tutu. How are you, Twinkles? I've been getting used to life here. It's um pretty spectacular. There's something new every day. And I'm totes growing both as a person and as a person who wants to be a pop star. That's fantastic, Tutu. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go. Aw, thank you, Tutu. What are you giving me? A floating by tote planter? Oh, I love those. Thank you. Can you find a good place for it? I sure can. <laughs> You're so awesome. And we have some presents from in the mail. Oh, we forgot to open the painting. That's why we can't donate it. Let's go back. I did that all wrong. <laughs> I was so confused. Oh, we have to wake him up now. Well, that's all right. Hey, hey, Blathers. Who? <laughs> oh, dear. Pardon me. Do have a look around. No rush. Take your time. Ah, but first, how may I assist you? I'd like to make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? This wonderful painting. That most assuredly is a sinking painting. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is, very much a sinking painting. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care, Owl's honor. I shall also leave details about your donation for all to read once it's on display. Please do check back later. Nope, we're good. Thank you. Alrighty. He's all tired. Let's learn our ladder setup kit. And we'll go get started on a few things that we need to do. We'll put all this stuff back in storage first. We're going to take the coconuts and go plant them. We're going to place that planter somewhere. I want to put the bed in our house. And we're probably going to go plant that sapling somewhere. All that stuff can go back into storage. I think if I were in this museum all day, I would probably sleep all day like he does as well. <laughs> it's so very peaceful. Do we have enough for our... Yeah, I sold things. Let's see. Shovel. And we dug up a thousand. We want to bury ten thousand. Because it will give us three bells of ten thousand. If we do that. So we will triple our money, which is great because we need all the money we can get right now. And we'll just plant that little money tree over here so they will be easier to find later. I put them by my house. Go ahead and get the wood from it. And there's 10,000, 20, 30. I do believe we planted the same in this one. Yes, 10, 20, 30, and that means, excuse us, Tutu, we can go play that. We can go pay off our house and have a little bit of spending money.
Yay. He's so happy to see us because he knows we have his money. And we will pay the full amount. Yay! Finish paying off my home loan. Fantastic. Now I want to talk to you. I must offer a hearty congratulations. You've paid off your loan in full. I'd expect nothing less, of course, but such a milestone is certainly cause for celebration. Well, thank you. I suppose they're also a good time to take stock and reflect, yes? I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its curtain current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can indeed be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture and more storage too. Now that I have introduced some possibilities, I will leave it at that. Do please come see me if you'd like to hear more. Absolutely. I guess he can't think of any more advice until the resident services building gets upgraded and Isabel gets here. So, I would like to upgrade my home. Yes, I am interested. Let's do it. That's a lot of money we're going to have to save up, but I think we can do it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go with pink since it matches our outfit right now. It'll be finished up by tomorrow. Excellent. That'll give us time to save up some money while you're closed. Uh, was there something else we needed to talk about? Oh, let's hold the ceremony. The grand opening for our museum. I sure am. Let's go. Aw. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Gambit's brand new museum. Yay. Thank you. Gambit truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone really. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Gambit, once again, I'm Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed indeed, overjoyed by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. This could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It surely has strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. That's right, Gambit's own ragdoll. Anything to add? We're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Ragdoll. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. 
Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should press the little square with the circle button on your controller. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Gambit's beautiful museum, hooray! Aww. <laughs> Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Alrighty, so what else do we need to do today? We definitely need to gather more crafting materials, maybe craft some things to decorate inside our home a little bit, because it's, it's looking kind of rough. <laughs> We're trying our best with what we have, but you know, it could be a little homier. <laughs> Let's see what we can craft with what we have, maybe. No, I thought that was a storage thing for some reason. That's okay. We're going to move this to our pocket. Get some of each. And then look and see what's available to craft. knows maybe we can make some awesome furniture I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of the stone and let's put away our seashells that we wanted to keep for later also well maybe we can craft something with the cardboard boxes I'm not sure uh, I am going to pick this up and place down Luna's bed because that looks a lot nicer than a camping cot. Um, did we buy a stereo yet? I'm ready to be able to play some of our, uh, our KK Slider songs that we choose. We need to invest. We did get a little table for it, though, and I forgot to place it. There we go. And then, what else have we got? Let's put that in our pockets and it would go nice outside. That even, that looks like 80% better already with the bed <laughs> instead of a camping cot. <laughs> we should have brought the table out. I thought I already did that, but I have a table for my yard. Whoops. I was going to place this little drying rack over here. So it looks like we're washing our clothes outside. I used to hang up laundry with my mom whenever I was a little girl. <laughs> she gave us a beautiful floating I think it should go outside of your house Tutu because you know you're fancy like that look I knew it would match look how beautiful okay and Elmer's house is woodsy as well so we can move him and Louie up into the wooded area whenever we feel like it <laughs> or they feel like it I don't know on this island anyone that wants to leave gets to leave whenever they're ready to oh look how cute your house is nice to meet you I'm Elmer I just moved here. We ought to hang out sometime. I can tell you about my bug friends and favorite snacks. Your house is lovely. 
Look how cute! Adorable. <laughs> we'll see you later, buddy. Very adorable. Uh, anyone else at home? Louis at home. On this island, if anyone gives us clothing, we have to wear it for at least 48 hours. Uh, extra DIYs will be left on the beach for giveaways and things like that. Perfect timing for an indoor workout. Well, all right, here, let's give you a present. Uh, I don't know. What do we want? We only have crafting supplies in our pockets. Here, you can have my dotted parasol. I'll get another one later. It doesn't really fit the interior of your house, but you know, you might like it. <laughs> you gonna take it out for a power walk? Awesome. Oh, we get nook mouths for talking. Wonderful. We like to talk. Oh, excuse us. We're just standing in his house reading our phone. How rude of us. No more loan payments. You see how this works? You pay off your loan, you get some nook mouths. Thanks. Thank you for doing business with Nook Inc. Well, thank you. We might actually have enough to buy something else. And before I forget that I did purchase that, let me run to my house and change my hair color. I think I have a mirror. Oh, look at Chichi doing yoga. She looks adorable. I'm so excited. You absolutely should. <laughs> Yay. Much better. <laughs> they need a darker color purple, but, you know, it works in a pinch. <laughs> Maybe a different hairstyle to go with our outfit. No. Not really fond of the ones we have at the moment. Maybe some pigtails. Why don't they have this hairstyle without bangs, you know? Maybe they do in a different version. Like, whatever I upgrade again, get more. Y'all know what I mean. It's early. <laughs> Let's stick with this one. I like the side sweat bang a lot more than having just bangs in my face. Alrighty. Hmm. What are we doing today? Oh yes, crafting. Alright. Let's go around this way. Let's see what we're able to craft to decorate our island with a little... Oh, we definitely want this. So we don't have to carry a ladder around with us all the time. We're going to make a few and go place them around. And they'll be there for hide and seek, which will be awesome. What all does it take for that? We need another ladder. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
we're gonna need a few of those. I don't think we have much room in our pockets though, which could be problematic here in a second. have quite a bit. We need one more of these though. Awesome. And this is just a cheaper way to be able to make a way for you to climb up your cliffs and things without having to put in the incredibly expensive inclines that Mr. Nook wants you to purchase. If you do this, arguably you can make your island without the inclines, but I kind of like them because I think they're pretty. <laughs> they add to the, the decor of your island. If you have a bunch of these ladder things up and about, it kind of just looks like you uh, are living in a jungle adventure in a way, I guess. These would be great for that kind of thing. Bunch of tiki torches and things. <laughs> I don't know what kind of theme I should go for on this island, but we're just going to kind of not have a theme at first and just kind of go with the flow of things, you know? We're going to give the villagers uh, items that match their home and just kind of craft what we're able to craft and go with the flow and make it look nice. Oh, my pockets are too full right now. Okay, cool. Let's go across and we'll set up a couple of our ladders and we'll hit our trees while we're on our way across, you know. We'll work on things that need working on. <laughs> See, I want to put the ladders over to the side here. So that they're kind of hidden. But if you're watching now, you'll kind of have a leg up on the, you know, whenever we're doing the games for the channel. <laughs> kind of the plan, though, just to go around popping them in everywhere so that you can kind of climb up the cliffs to make it a little more difficult for the person chasing you to get you. But... It should be an interesting game of hide-and-go-seek. Or tag. When I was little, we used to play hide-and-go-seek with if you were found, you had a certain amount of time to like get away from that person. As long as they didn't touch you, you had time to run to home base. So we may create like a home base and then, you know, just run. I like to uh, hit all of my trees and leave the materials and come pick it up later so that I know where I've been and I can get around a little bit better. It helps me to figure it out. <laughs> uh, we don't have a ladder in our pocket anymore and I don't know if I can set up one on a cliff like this from up here. I can. Wonderful. Can we use it? There we go. <laughs> because I want to kind of get all the ones in the area so that I know where I've been. And arguably, if you set up those against the cliff like I just have, I wouldn't need my vaulting pole either because I could just go around the lake.
in all areas except getting back to my house. So we need to look into putting a bridge over there. I don't think we're able to yet, though. Patience and building. see if I can switch these quick enough to get it. No, 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 don't shake the tree. I almost had it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, at least you have medicine in your pocket. You're fine. It's gonna be okay. Go ahead and take your medicine and I can hit the tree again. And of course, we'll take the wasp nest with us and we'll craft a new medicine for later. But we have an extra in our pocket because we got stung twice the other day. Eventually, I will get that trick down and I will get my net out in time to save myself. But, you know. <laughs> Say la vie. We need a shovel. And we're going to have to pick up this one. I'm not sure if we have that butterfly yet. I don't remember. Better safe than sorry. I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by. Uh, it was not new. But that's alright. We can sell it to Timmy and Tommy, I believe. Let me make sure there is nothing in the way. Okay. come get all of this stuff later. Yeah. We're gonna put one right here. And We need to move some of our trees so it looks a little fuller on the back side of it instead of all of them being up this way. I would like to move a house or two, but I'm rather broke in game, so <laughs> we're trying to save money. Oh, there goes our axe. To keep paying off our home loans and things a little faster. Let's go back around this way. Eventually, we'll find gold tools and they'll be a little better than our other tools. Pico doesn't like whenever I chop down the trees, so I'm using the stone axe instead of... <laughs> and we're going to relocate our trees. You know, just to make her smile. Present! I'm getting better at that, though. <laughs> what do we got? Bamboo shoot lamp. We still don't have any bamboo. Maybe we should buy a Nook Mall ticket and go on a deserted island and see if we can get some bamboo. When does Captain come into play? I think that's a museum thing. Maybe after Isabelle's here as well. I'm not sure. Mm. 
because his tricks are only they're cheaper than buying a Nook Mall ticket. They're half price. They're 2000 for the Nook Malls, but they're only 1000 for his. And we could go to those islands to gather materials for crafting as well. What did I want to talk to you about? <laughs> yeah, he won't give us anything else until resident services is updated. So we'll go ahead and check in here then. Next shopping. We definitely don't want a cot. We already have one in storage. <laughs> a thank you mom mug. Kind of cute. <laughs> and we definitely need that. Oh, we don't have enough. Whoops. That's okay. We will eventually. Um, let's see what you have to offer Nook Mile wise. We could get us a nice fence. Or we could just save up. Maybe come find something later. Ooh. Is the flooring in the wall better than what we have already? I think it might be better than the green. Maybe in... You know, just in my opinion. But, like, we have this paired with this. I think it would look very nice. I think we're good. Alrighty. And we already took everything from the box. Yeah, we're good for this to be closed tomorrow, I believe. Wonderful. Alright, put away our slingshot. We need to take advice from Tutu and do some yoga. <laughs> that is two of my fossils. I forgot to open up my app for collecting my fossils and my stones. That would help me be a little more organized, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, here it is. talked to Tutu, Louie, and Colton already. That This app helps with that so much too. It's the unofficial Animal Crossing companion guide, I think is what it's called. But it helps me so much keep track of what I'm doing. Two fossils. We did the money tree. We've hit three rocks. Fantastic. So, here, we're going to pick up that piece so that we make sure we get the maximum amount of material. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just hit away at this one as well. It's pushing us back. Oops. We went the wrong direction with it. 
Uh, we didn't get everything. That's why we put the hole behind us, by the way, because of how it pushes you away whenever you're hitting the rock. I forgot to line myself up like I typically do, and that's why you see me kind of taking my time to do this. Because it just pushed me away and I didn't get all my stuff. I try to position myself just in between the two so that if it pushes me one way or the other, I'm still supported by the holes that we dug. Okay, and so that puts us at collecting or hitting all of them but one today, I do believe. Maybe two. Yeah, I think I counted those too soon. Possibly. This is why I need the app. <laughs> to help me keep track better. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then this one. Right over here. think this barrel could possibly support us too if we just dig a hole right here put our back to it and go yay lots of money that will help us pay off our home loan all right We'll leave that one there so I know I did get it as well. I want to say we need to go. Excuse us, Louie. There's Apollo. I knew she wasn't in her house. Well, you're up early proper. Good morning. I want to chat. I think you're better at this morning thing than I am proper. I think you may be mistaken, and I need a little more caffeine myself, but I'm glad you think so. There is our other fossil, and we've got one more to find. Fantastic. There's my bridge. Oh, our coconut trees look lovely over here. And we're going to plant a few more going around this way. And then we're going to talk to Daisy real fast. Trying to make sure we talk to everyone. Oh, and there's our visitor of the day. Good to see you too, because we just found some money and a rock. One more right in this area to have a lovely shaded area to picnic for Daisy and her lovely beach home. May we come in? What you making? Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? I'm currently crafting a woodland wall just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Ragdoll, want to learn how to make your own woodland wall? I sure do. All right, I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Wonderful, thank you. So kind of you, Daisy. Give it a try when you have the time and materials, Bow Wow. She's so sweet. I love her home. Look at look at all of this niceness. It matches so well. How beautiful. Her little kitchen area, I think, should have been a white color. You know? That would have just made it pop. But this is fantastic. Let's see what DIYs we have.
Yay. Yay. We are going to need to make some space in our pockets before we go and talk to her to get some rugs because we are not going to have any room at all. Oh, we're carrying a lot of cardboard boxes. I can't wait until we can afford another one of the warp pipes. Actually, we can. Did I already order? Because we hit that money rock. I forgot. I wonder if I've ordered five items today. Let me check. Because tomorrow we could have the warp pipes in the mail and I could have one behind my house or resident services and one all the way across the island and that would be super helpful for getting things done quicker. Yay! We'll have two in the mail tomorrow. So excited. Wasn't there something else I wanted? Ooh, block flooring. Maybe not. Was it? No. Uh, definitely not leopard. Maybe it was a nook shopping. Oh yes, it was. That's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this and buy the flooring with because we paid off our home loan for today. I was going to deposit some money, but we don't have that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it and collect more as we go. Yep, now let's stop by our house and toss some things in storage. We're supposed to be crafting things for our house, but we got sidetracked when we saw Sahara. She can help beautify our home as well, though. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I call her Sahara, and her name is Savannah. I'm trying to rename an Animal Crossing character, y'all. I'm pretty sure that's what Pico told me. We don't really need to carry all these boxes, and I'm pretty sure we don't have anything to craft with them right now. Ooh, a brick oven would look nice next to Louie's house probably. Oh wait. Let me put down where is it? Did I put it in storage? I could put that in storage though. Oh, it'll go to my mailbox. I don't know why I keep thinking that I immediately get those things. Probably because of the DIY things. They immediately give those to you, so, you know. Alrighty. Off we go. She was way over here by Daisy's house. There we are, still around the same area. Hello, how are you today? No, no, talk to me, don't walk away. Hello, you were calling me Sahara. No, I said it right. I think before I was calling her the wrong name. <laughs> I think I may have corrected it. Yay, good for me. I have some small rugs, large rugs, and rugs in the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I also have mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you will find it. Are you ready to buy? Um, I'll take a rug. What size? Let's go with a large rug. Yay. 
you will like the rug. I will like the money. All will be happy and well. <laughs> I have exact ticket as a bonus for a good soul who buys good rugs. Exchange ticket, I'm sorry. If you save up five tickets, you could trade for mysterious wallpaper or mysterious flooring. You bought a large rug, so that means three tickets are yours. Okay. Well, go ahead and give me a medium as well. And then I'll get a mysterious one for free, right? Buy two, get one free? Is that what we're doing? When a customer smiles, my heart and purse my heart and purse grow one size bigger. Here's your bonus of exchange tickets. So you bought a medium rug, that means two tickets. Yay! <laughs> I'll take a wall plate wallpaper. Goodness. I'm getting tired. I need to go get that caffeine. <laughs> I'll take a wallpaper. Thank you. Surely your eyes will go grow wide like a mo mouth yawning beluga well. Your heart will race when you see it. Well, thank you. Uh, I think we need to buy a mysterious flooring to go with it. Yes, please. And we'll go see what this looks like in our house. Thank you for your help. You will want more after this. Yes, yes. Using one will make you excited for another one and so on. Is your wallet now content or shall you make additional purchases? I think I'm, I'm good for now. We spent quite a bit of our money on getting some wallpaper and flooring and whatnot. And yes, you're pointing out a great spot for a ladder. Terrific. While we're over here, let's go ahead and grab these shells. Because I don't come this way often. Uh-oh, my pockets are full. <clears throat> uh, I guess we could let the butterfly go for now. And go ahead and get... All of this stuff. We already know that DIY and it's dropped on our beach and you know we'll just leave it there for now. Giveaways and all. Oh there's so let's swap it with the fossil for a moment and we'll learn the DIY. Dear person I don't know I really wanted to make an item as like a homage to my favorite pop star and came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle, so def check out my masterpiece. You'll want to use all the time. Bon... Bon Bon Craft Master. <laughs> A backyard lawn. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and pick our fossil back up. Our pockets. Just, we need that extra pocket space. We need to come over here and get our trees in order as well. But I think that's going to be another day. I still need to hit all of the trees over in this area. We don't have an axe anymore. I forgot I broke it. Alright. checked rug let's oh my pockets are full <laughs> the problems the problems I'm gonna put those in storage we still have one more fossil to go find I like to do them all at once um, okay 
that looks better. Now. Our mysterious wallpaper looks like it was a fireworks show. That's interesting. Oh, that's the one we picked up. We have a peach checkered rug. It doesn't look very peach. Um, that's what we took off the wall. A yellow vinyl sheet. That kind of looks like something you would be able to use as like a beach towel. <laughs> it's neat though. Ramshackle flooring. Wow. I think we'll stick with the green floor tile. And we could leave up the fireworks show paper. You know, it's, it's nice. It looks good. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Full disclosure. Had to run to the restroom. Get some more caffeine. <laughs> There's a bit of a time jump on the video. Because we had to pause it. Um back to what I was doing now. We're going to put all that in storage. Now I can think a little clearer because I'm not trying to, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put that away. I bet that peach silk flooring would make a great present for one of our villagers, though. They might like those. I wonder if the villagers wear hats. I do believe they do. Give away some presents here. See if we can get some back. Louis may be the only one we're allowed to give presents to at the moment. Maybe a um Apollo? Or we don't have Apollo Quinn. <laughs> I'm getting my people all mixed up. We'll keep those in our pocket to give away in case we might need them. I am still on the hunt for one more fossil on our island. And we've talked to all of our villagers today. She is still out and about on our island somewhere. Tutu is at home though. And she's the one I thought might like that rug. I'm wondering if we can give presents to villagers. Because, yeah. Like, her particularly. <laughs> Not yet. You designed that yourself? I did. No wonder I felt runway vibes. Aw, you're so sweet, Tutu. It's legit fab that you made your own thing instead of buying off the shelf. You're so sweet. She likes our outfit. <laughs> okay. I know we can't give you a present yet, and we just left your house not long ago. gonna need to do is go craft another axe and finish getting our wood and possibly I'm pretty sure we can't give anybody a present except for Louie maybe we'll go check with Quinn um, but I want to grab a few things to lay out and about as we're going Excuse me, because we're just kind of decorating and crafting as we go. And as you see, and just you know, the seven days that we've been playing with the ones that we purchased from the Nook Stop and the ones that we've 
the DIYs that we've uh, accumulated, we've gotten quite a bit of things that we can craft if we just collect all the materials and do it ourselves. I think that may be the vibe of our island. We may just kind of go with the DIYs that we have that become available and just kind of go with that feel. So we may have like a tropical, woodsy, jungly kind of island with this kind of look, you know? Because it's what we're given, you know? We have those stones, we have that hay. We're going to work with what we've got. Tis the plan. Tiki torches. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like a plan to me. Why stress? <laughs> Work with what you got. And and look look how perfect this is, because we were looking for you. Hi. Can I talk to you a moment? Yeah, you did. No, I don't have a twin. Yeah, we can't give Quinn anything yet. The new bridge is great. I had no idea how annoyed I was getting when I tried to cross the river. I've already caught myself standing on it and staring into the horizon a few times too. What of you? I want to put one where you're sitting. I gotta find whoever put it there and thank them proper. <laughs> so adorable. Okay, let's see if it was because she was sitting down, actually. Come back for more, huh? Must be my winning personality proper. It is, and your great hairstyle. What's the latest? This weather is totally perfect. I gotta find a way to make the most of it. I could go for a jog, or I could say I'm gonna... Or I could say I'm going for a jog, then go home and do my couch potato thing. <laughs> Uh, we should be best buds, Quinn. We think alike. <laughs> I, I would love to say I'm going to go for a jog and actually do it, but, you know, jogging. <laughs> I don't like to sweat. <laughs> I don't think anyone does, but, you know, just say. Then again, saunas. Some people do, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't has. understand it. <laughs> I've been in the sauna before and I did not like it. I was told it was good for me to get the impurities from my pores, but I'm not fond of being that warm. <laughs> oh no, my pockets are so full. Okay, what all have we got? I figured it would have combined with those. Let's drop those. And those. Mm, we'll go place a few items. Since we're going to be decorating, I'm going to grab that table I keep forgetting. I crafted myself one to match that chair and just keep leaving it. Terrible. I know. Did you write it down on your task list? I did not. That's why I keep getting sidetracked. Without the kids and Honey Hug here to keep me on track. It's just terrible. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put this away since we can't give anybody anything right now. And... We just have a very outdoorsy vibe in our house. Fake grass. It's like that stuff at the park. It is. There's this little mound at the park with fake grass on it. And we can sit on it and just kind of watch our kids play under shade trees. But it's just the funniest thing to me. It's hilarious. 
<clears throat> We're going to place this cute little pot on top of our wardrobe if it lets us. Well, it does. <clears throat> okay, let's do it this way. Why I make things difficult, I have no idea. Actually, since that's where we get changed and stuff, let's put the pot on the floor. And we'll put... I don't know if I can use that up there. Can but we're not... We're not going to change our style for a little bit anyway. So just to make our home look a little more functional. Didn't I have better things? We can put a classic picture out on our table. Well. <clears throat> Back to the crafting, I suppose. <laughs> I don't think I had as much as I thought I had. But it's a vast improvement over camping cot. Although camping cot in the woodsy thing would now look very good. We, we never can get it quite right, can we? <laughs> How about we make it look like we just have all glass windows? Instead of the fake grass? We place our honeycomb flooring back down, and now it just looks like we have glass windows to look outside into the jungle. Or we chose that wallpaper. We got a wild side. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> Reminds me of Doctor Who, the forest. It does. <laughs> it would be great in River Song's library, like in the attic. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll have to look it up now and... See if I have it on that island and use it. I'm sure I have it as Ragdoll, probably not as River Song. I haven't played as long as that character. Excuse me, I'm hydrating again. Hmm. Wish I could give him some pants. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I had anything for you, but I do want to give Louie a brick oven. Because that kind of goes with his vibe. I could see him making some veggie pizzas for the island since he's, you know, all into fitness. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. You should be able to assign tasks. That would be great. I don't think it's what they're going to let me do, though. <laughs> <laughs> Old-fashioned wash tub. Doing some laundry on the beach. Oh. Dagnabbit. Probably way too late for trying to get that now. And I think I put my barrel right in the way. <laughs> You're supposed to dig up the little squirting holes so that you can have the little clams for fish bait and whatnot. I try to think about my surroundings and where I'm at at the time and have that tool at the ready. But a lot of times, that's not very ideal. <laughs> There's the manila clam. <laughs> It could be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Because I haven't dug up any of those yet. I forgot we did the communicator part thing for... Uh, what is his name? Gulliver? Gulliver, thank you. Great job remembering, Honey Hug. You don't even play Animal Crossing. Think it travels. <laughs> Okay, and so we need to go back and craft some things. We need, absolutely need an axe. I think we have those. Yeah, we caught both of those already. <clears throat> so 
all the way back up to tools. I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning for fish bait is. I'm sure that Pico could tell us, but I guess it attracts bigger fish, maybe? Would be my guess. Get some sharks and Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and craft one. Does it give you the option to throw it in the water? Or? I think it might. I've never actually used it because on all of my islands, except for this one, I've had the arrangement with Pico that I'll catch the bugs if she'll do the fishing. Huh. I've not done any fishing. I'm atrocious at it. I don't do well with it. <laughs> they don't seem to listen or they don't go for the rod right away or the line. They make me upset because <laughs> I'm trying to throw it where it needs to go and they don't want to listen and I'm just like, okay, I'm done with you at this point. Threw it to the left there. Ah, I'll go to the right. Uh-huh. They turn around completely and I'm like, well, I don't even want to talk to you right now. <laughs> How rude. Disrespectful fish. How rude. Uh, what do we need in our pockets for tools? Let's take a gander at that. I want to make a stone axe. I need more wood. Okay. I think I also need a real axe. And since Pico's in school, we need to go chop down some trees because we got far too many, I do believe. Can they overrun your island? Well, they're not like reproducing or anything. I guess we could just relocate them and make her happy. But... I do still need some more wood. You never know what kind of wood you're going to get whenever you hit the tree, and ours is producing a lot more soft wood, or we're just not using a lot of it crafting. I'm not sure what the dilemma is yet. <laughs> but if we chop down the tree completely, that's less of the regular wood that we'll have, and since we're playing in intermediate mode and cannot go to... <clears throat> Excuse me treasure islands or other islands to get our materials we should probably not chop down those trees right we should probably have a very woodsy <laughs> island or we're not gonna progress as quickly as we would like to uh-huh so i'm unhappy with like this looks okay because it's like a little pathway to get around it and stuff i kind of want a few more trees behind the museum here but i would like to maybe get rid of some of the cherry trees, but we sell our native fruit and make money. So maybe just put them all over towards one area, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to work it out in my head. I don't like how this one kind of blocks our resident services. You know? You I'm... could make a game where it's fruit salad and it <laughs> could be all the fruit trees in an area. And you collect the fruits. Can you mix the fruits together? Yeah, I've got apple trees over in another area. Oh, I forgot what we were doing. We need to craft up some stone axes so they last a little bit longer and then hit the trees. Hmm. I got sidetracked talking to Terrific Honey Hug. Oh, no. oh we're crafting. can make a big bonfire. I like that for the beach area where the houses are. See, that's what I expect when I see bonfire. Or hear yeah. bonfire. I want to see it roaring. We were saddened. We went to go to a bonfire in our little community in real life. And it was... It wasn't even this big. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, maybe that torch. Maybe. <laughs> It was... Wow. Okay. This is what we're doing. <laughs> oh, our battery, honey hug. Oh, dear. 
It should be right there. The plug. Thank you, my love. You're the best. You are. But kids were there too, so probably they didn't want the fire to be too big. Didn't want it to get out of yeah. control. <laughs> and produce a lot of smoke, and that comes with fire. So. Yeah. There are other reasons, I'm sure. Don't know. Just expectation versus reality, I guess. Yeah. Because we see cartoons and whatnot yeah. and movies where they have huge bonfires. Yeah. We're going to use this stuff to create a nice little area on the beach. I think it will be lovely. Ah, too full. I'm getting tired of hearing that. I guess while we're crafting right here. Just for the sake of crafting. We'll drop all of this stuff. And then we'll need it, I'm sure. When we go to decorate and I forget that I dropped my tools. And then I whack a tree and need a net. <laughs> Because the wasp are after me. Quinn, this is my crafting table, man. You're going to have to hold on a minute. I was busy doing something. Can you craft on it, too? She can, but... Oh, she? Yeah. I, I think she can. I can craft at the one at their house. I'm pretty sure she can use it, too. Ooh, I want a bookshelf for my house. But I created this little crafting station. It's mine. <laughs> Her house is right up there. You know, I'll share later, but for right now, I need to use this. I'm working on something. I'm beautifying my beaches. I want to be a step ahead when Isabel gets here, you know? Yeah. Um, maybe some mossy rocks. If we're gonna go for a jungly beachy vibe and see, I told you I would need my tools. They're blue. Oh! Which one are you? Just throw the stone axe. <laughs> if only it worked that way. Okay. It's hard to remember that I'm supposed to be playing this way and getting all of the DIYs and things because I don't normally play this way. Yeah. It is a little trickier and. It does take some getting used to, but it's a lot of fun. Excuse me a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. <clears throat> Wall mounted tool board. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see. I've only got two spaces available in my pocket. Let's go set this stuff down, because it's going to tell me my pockets are full. I'm going to get upset. <laughs> Nobody needs that. Okay, so... Louie looks like the type to maybe throw little get-togethers, you know? He likes to talk a lot and be, you know, the center of attention. So we're going to give him a giant bonfire. And if it was that easy. <laughs> I know. And we're going to give him a couple of tables with some benches. Because he might want to cook for everyone, you know? Have a beach party. Yeah. Where's our table first? Here it is. You need volleyball. <laughs> we'll have to get it as we get it, honey. Oh, it does exist, though? Yeah. I think I do like it that direction. And maybe move it to the side. That would be good. And then have... Where they're kind of close together, you know? Go. 
Oh, now I can't get around it, but that's okay. We can go this direction. Um, you don't want to be too close up to his oven there anyway. We could place that out for roasting some marshmallows and maybe put some little cushions out here later when we get them. It should make it where anywhere you place the certain guitar and stool item you have, that KK slider will perform there. That would be amazing. Or your villagers could perform there, you know? Yeah. That would rock. Just working with what we've got, you know? Mm -hmm. Giving them a nice little community area here because, you know, we do want these up in the pine area where the foresty trees are growing. But for right now, they look nice here and we're just going to make them look the best we can and give them like a little community. That's awesome. Grab it. Come on. Just thinking about what it. What is your problem here? All right. Now that they've moved in, we can kind of spread their items out just a little bit and they don't have to be so cluttered together and it gives it like a little walkway through there. A little shared community. Lovely. Even the butterfly wants to be there. <laughs> We're going to eventually get some little beach chairs and things like that. Because this is like their own little private beach. You know? Like all of this connected goes all the way over. They don't really share it with anybody except for, you know, Quinn. <laughs> Quinn looks more like a sophisticated museum type. Yeah. <laughs> have a house by the museum yes wouldn't that be amazing all right i think i think we don't have many things left that we can craft that aren't duplicate of the same old same old uh i did want a couple more mossy rocks i had plans I think I needed one more of these. How great would it be if I could one day get most of my villagers out there sitting at these tables? That'd be great. <laughs> you should be able to assign a party. I know. Have any bamboo. We have some recipes we can't even use yet. Uh, we could do stone stools around the campfire so that when they're sitting over there making their s'mores. That adds another level and some character. <laughs> I don't like to have everything too matchy matchy. I don't want to put like little wood stools over there near the fire, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's hazardous anyway. <laughs> I think little stone ones around it would be nice. Do I have room for my tools? Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's go break an axe on something though.
That's my table and I keep forgetting to put it where it needs to go. <laughs> Terrible. The little mossy garden rocks are going to kind of indicate the entrance to their area and we're just going to kind of build up around it and this will be like a little door area going to their beach by the time I'm done with everything right. let's just turn it around so they're not exactly the same to the beach also so they're closer together out but okay there we go those remind me of the tables that you see in like the little parks that we go to like the nature center and stuff yeah. matches this house very well I think and then with some little stone stools for sitting out here and watching the ocean as you have your dessert s'mores of working with what we've got and making it look more homey for the residents and you know able to walk through and get around and I want it to be you know a little different than what we've done before all of my islands are kind of cluttered and filled up and I don't custom design my own things and I'm trying new things it's awesome <laughs> it'll be a completely different experience it really is I feel like I didn't have the time to do those kind of things but you know I found the time and I think she looks stylish <laughs> finally got her hair color changed honey hug she's Great. not a blonde anymore <laughs> but I think that's all for today I hope you have the loveliest of lovely days, and I do hope that you will please subscribe and join me in the next one. It's free to subscribe. Peace!